We meet again, Siti. Well, hi, Mr. Aris. What are we going to do today? Today, we are going to take a look at sentence construction again, Siti. I'm really looking forward to that, Mr. Aris. The tips you gave me for the previous lessons have helped me a lot in school. So good to hear that. I really hope that you and your friends out there are learning a lot from our discussions. It is a skill which is still very useful even if you're not preparing for any examination. So, let's look at today's question. By now, I'm sure you remember the things you should do when you're required to make sentences from a picture. Yes. First, I have to study or observe the picture. Very well. So, what should you be looking at? Mm, the first thing is the picture itself and the details which should be described in my sentences. Excellent, Siti. Now, what else has to be put into account? The words related to the picture which are written below it. That's right. These are the ten keywords students are provided with. Must I use all of them? Not necessarily so, because sometimes there are words which you might not be familiar with and you might not know what they mean. The most important thing for you to remember is to keep to what is shown in the picture. However, in order to be able to make good sentences, you have to build up your vocabulary of nouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs. Yes, Mr. Aris, I'll remember that because this is something which my teachers in school keep reminding all of us. Well... These are the parts of speech and the language we use in our everyday life. Yes, I'm aware of that. And another thing I should remember is the usage of tenses. The next thing to pay attention to is the tenses in making your sentences. Remember, use the same tense form for all the sentences you make. If you're writing in the present tense, everything has to be in the present tense. Yes, I know. The key reference is in the verbs. Finally, read your sentences after you have constructed them. Check for mistakes in spelling, grammar, and punctuation. I feel that by now I have remembered all those things. That's very good, Siti. For the purpose of the examination, each pupil will be assessed on his or her ability to make grammatically correct sentences, good usage of language, and the ability to express ideas. Can you please explain that to me again? Well, I have to stress here that marks will be given on good grammar and language use and also on how well you describe your ideas in your answers. By now, I think I'm ready for that. Very well. Use a variety of sentence structures and a wide range of vocabulary to express ideas. Ideas must be clearly presented and linked well. Correct use of spelling and punctuation is necessary. All right. I'm all ready to start now. So, let's look at the picture again. Can you list down the nouns related to the picture? Nouns are naming words. So, I can list down house, oil lamps, fence, father, brother, 
friends, fireworks, mother, sister, children. Good. I can see that you have understood what nouns are, Siti. Yes. Adjectives describe a person or a thing or give more information about them. Adjectives related to the picture could be brightly and happily. That's a good list to start with. How about verbs? Oh, the action words you mean? Yes, that's right. Can you list the verbs? Lighting, watch, play, lit. Well, Siti, you already have a good list of nouns, adjectives and verbs related to the picture. You are now ready to start constructing your five sentences. I sure am, Mr. Aris. Go ahead. You can use what you have listed and what has been given in the question. But before that, what tenses would you be using to write the sentences for this picture? Well, since this is about something which is going on or happening in a picture, Everything should be in the present. Is that right, Mr. Aris? You are absolutely right, Siti. So bear that in mind when making your sentences. All right. Let me try the first one. Ramli's house is brightly lit. That's a good start. But wouldn't you like to make it better by adding some more information to the sentence? All right. Like this, Ramli's house is brightly lit at night. Hmm, well, but is it for every night or during some occasions? <laughs> oh, yes, I'll add something to that. How does this sound? Ramli's house is brightly lit at night during Hari Raya Puasa. Yes, that's a good one, Siti. Now, try the next one. All right. I shall use the word oil lamp and fence and along. Maybe the sentence should sound like this. Many oil lamps are put up along the fence. Excellent. You have taken three words from the list to construct your second sentence. Now, to the third sentence. Using the word lighting, I would write His father and his brother are lighting the oil lamps. That's a simple but good sentence. Carry on, Siti. I can see Ramli and his friends playing fireworks. They are playing outside the house. That would become Ramli and his friends are playing with fireworks outside the house. You are doing great, Siti. Now, you only have two words left to make the last sentence. All right. With the two words, watch and children, I would combine them to make this sentence. His mother and his sister watch the children as they play happily. How about that, Mr. Aris? That's excellent, Siti. You have come up with five good sentences. Can you read them again, one by one? Ramli's house is brightly lit at night during Hari Raya Puasa. Many oil lamps are put up along the fence. Father and his brother are lighting the oil lamps. Ramli and his friends are playing with fireworks outside the house. His mother and his sister 
watch the children as they play happily. That's great. I'm glad to know that you have been able to learn a lot by now, Siti. Thank you for your guidance too, Mr. Aris. So, let's recall some of the important points to remember when making sentences. Use the keywords to help you only if you know their meaning. Be careful with the tenses used. Read your sentences after you have made them to check for mistakes in spelling, grammar, and punctuation. Use a wide range of vocabulary to express your ideas. A lot of reading can help you on this one. Very well, Siti. That's all for today. Let us look forward to meet again. Till then, bye-bye.